I rode my Anchir e-bike down to the local used bike shop. I was there to check out another Anchir, a non-e-bike model. A little too road bikey for my taste, but there was another bike that I found way more interesting. This thing. This is a 1938 Elgin Twin Bar. Now think about that for just a second. 1938. This is 2018. That makes this bike 80 years old. And it's more or less all original and still rideable. Looking at the original patent drawings, you can see there are only a few ornamental parts missing. The tires, of course, aren't original, but who could complain when you're rolling around on a set of Carlisle studs? One of the few missing components is an ornamental bit that bolted on the front fender here. But look at that Art Deco fender styling. Both steel fenders have the style, and the front's a little bent up, but the rear's in remarkably good shape. Then apparently in 1938, multi-position kickstands were a thing. Or maybe these extra holes have something to do with the missing shroud on the bottom bracket. A part the shop owner said was still available in a reproduction version. But that's all child's play when it comes to this bike's unique features, because the real eye catcher is the frame. Note the seat bracket. It's adjustable on the twin frame bars. A rider could move it back or forward as needed with about 6 inches worth of adjustment range. That's thanks to the double bar frame design. When I saw this, I instantly wondered if this is where Raleigh got their inspiration for their twin bar bikes. Another thing that's unique, at least to me, is the chain ring and chain. They're a skip tooth design. I have no idea the reasoning for this setup, but I suspect that it has something to do with possibly easier manufacturing because I was told this was very common on pre-World War II bikes. The bars on the Elgin are the typical vintage sweeping bars, but look at those grips. They're either original or Elgin branded replacements, but either way, those wouldn't pass with today's safety standards. Can you imagine wrecking your 60 pound behemoth and having one of these hard pointy grips coming your way? Those may be the original grips because everything about this bike is so heavily made. Look at those stem bolts. I've seen smaller bolts holding an engine in place. I'm not sure what the purpose is behind these metal arms coming off the front fork. Maybe for a rack or something, or just reinforcement of some kind. Which would sound like overkill, but look at the hubs. They are, in the words of the bike shop owner, ventilated hubs on both the front and the rear. No doubt to shed all the heat building up from riding this heavy bike down hills. Because I wouldn't want to try to ride this up a hill. Can you imagine? I mean, think about this. I rode an e-bike to the bike shop where I saw this thing. And 80 years ago, this was probably an easy to ride speed demon. And my, how times have changed, and maintenance too, because I was told these pedals were designed so that the wood looking flats could be replaced. And I can believe that, because after 80 years, they still spin freely. And check out the bottom bracket, it's on top of the lower frame. The more I look at it, the more I want to ride it, but I don't normally ride bikes that other people have for sale, but drop a note in the comments if you want to see me give the Elgin a go. Or drop a note if you think this is a collector bike that shouldn't be ridden. Historical side note, this bike was $23.95 in an old Sears catalog I saw online, and adjusted for inflation, that's over $429 today. $429 for a 60 pound single speed. Kinda makes some of my Walmart bikes seem more attractive now, doesn't it? All joking aside, it's nice to see how far cycling has come, and to see a cycling artifact that's mostly original. He even has the original seat. This bike is listed on eBay, so if you want me to give another look at it, let me know so I can give it a go before it's gone. Because he had two offers of up to $250 just in the time I was filming it at the shop. So no doubt the Elgin has its fans, or maybe people just like that vintage look. More importantly, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at it. Be sure to drop a comment in the comments section, and thanks for watching, and if you're new to the channel, be sure you watch my other videos and that you subscribe because new videos come out each week. And to my loyal subscribers that watch each of my videos, I really appreciate it and I hope you have a great day.